Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the Lego Soccer slash Football Town set from 1998, the Soccer Police, which is just a ridiculous set. This was released with the 1998 World Cup. I think in the U.S. it was released with uh, Shell, but uh, this is definitely the European version. Let's unbox this sucker, and keep in mind this preceded the uh, sports line. This was before it, and they basically released a line of soccer sets in the town line. Either way, here's all the packaging inside. It seems like there's even a little poster, and of course the instructions. So here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at those four minifigures. Our first minifigure is this female cop, and she has this riot shield. You actually get another one in this set, so that's not the only one. And it's actually a really effective build. I know a lot of people are asking for, like, riot police. Maybe that's a little bit too mature for a LEGO City theme, which is aimed towards little kids. But this may be one of the few times we have gotten sort of a riot police. The printing on the torso, I think, is new for me at least. And you can see she does have that common female face print from the 90s underneath. This dude seems to be maybe the sheriff. Another new torso print for myself, but admittedly, I don't really buy too many town police sets. I like his megaphone in that nice kind of red coloring. And underneath, you can see his face print, which, of course, is one-sided because he is an older minifigure. Here's another cop. He has a walkie-talkie and the same torso as the female cop. Nothing too interesting going on here. And here is the criminal. He has the Maniac for Bricks torso, that uh, face print underneath that looks very scruffy from uh, the Western line. A black cap, which is always nice to get. No back torso printing because he is an older minifigure. Same goes for his face print. So back to the build, you get two vehicles. So this first one is a police transport vehicle, and it's four wide, just like all the classic LEGO Town vehicles, and I love that. I also like the glass window in the back, which you can kind of see the officer stuffed in there. What I don't like, though, is that when you put the officers, since two of them do have this helmet, it doesn't close all the way. You can see it's popping up just a little bit, so that's a little bit lame. I guess the only one that would really fit is this guy up here. There is a spot in the back that they say you could fit one of the riot shields, and uh, they do have a spot where you could fit the equipment as well on the total back of this uh, vehicle. They also have a sticker which says police and six wheels in total. Now this front part right here is kind of meant to be opened, but it's sort of a hard open without making this part break off just because of these two studs which clip into the top of the ceiling right there, but it's no big deal. You can see inside there's enough space for one minifigure and a little steering wheel. Now this smaller vehicle is a prisoner transporter, and you can see you could capture the wrongdoers and open it up just like the other vehicle from the side. It's even more cramped than the other vehicle because the length is shorter. You can see the other vehicle is almost double the size. Um, and this has the same problem where the hat kind of pushes it up, but not to the extent of the other vehicle. You can see there's just a little bit of a gap going down there. Now, also like the other vehicle, you could lift this one. It's a little bit of a hard lift, so you don't ruin this part back here. And if it's one minifigure and there's a steering wheel, and there's also the same as side car doors, and it is four wide. Other than that, um, it also has this sticker on the back, like the police transporter. And that's it for these two builds. Let's go on to the packaging and then the final verdict. For the box, I'm not sure what this is. Ran Sat Fusbol. I know that means football, but uh, I'm not sure what that brand is. And the back actually has all those 98 World Cup town sets, or, or most of them. And I love these base plates. These were actually base plates they sold that have kind of the soccer slash football field outlines. And they were 48 by 48, so they were huge. So that was kind of impressive. The only thing interesting about the instructions is you could see they're different from the box where they say 12 and shell. So it's weird because the packaging seems to be the European version, but the instructions seem to be the American version. There's nothing interesting on the back though. And for this little fold-out poster, this one actually has a lot of different themes. Love the Western theme, love adventurers, uh, Fright Nights is awesome, and yeah, that's about it. I don't really care for these, don't really care for Insectoid, Aquazone's okay. The back does have this little Town Junior, I think it is. I thought these were 2000 sets, but it seems to be their 1998 sets. You can see this is when Town got really simple. Still some nice looking sets, but the piece counts are much lower than they should be. I really want that cafe though. So overall, the soccer police set or football police set is very weird. It's much like what LEGO does now. They're like, okay, police sells a lot, so let's cram it into another theme. Yeah, sure, this is town, but this is a soccer slash football sub theme. And really, this has nothing to do with football or soccer. Sure, it's branded that way, and this is the type of thing you would see on the field. But I kind of wish there was maybe like a soccer bowl or maybe like a little stand uh, or maybe even a barrier just, uh, you know, blocking off the, the fans who are watching the show or something so we could get a little bit of a soccer feel. 
As it stands, it's really just a generic Lego Town police set. I do like vehicles where you have some sitting room inside, not just with the front part. And you do get two of those here, but I don't like how these back parts pop up and they're not really made for minifigures, it almost seems like. It seems like maybe they should have made it just a little bit taller in terms of the vehicle so they won't be popping up, but it's not that big of a problem. So that's it for this Throwback Thursday. Hopefully I get to do more soccer sets or football sets. I have so many to do, and I, I do like these sports sub-themes, even though I don't like sports in real life. So I can't wait to do more of those. And I think next week... At this point, really, the schedule's thrown off because I ran out of Paradisa sets and I ran out of Fabuland sets. So it's probably going to be a random one. And then I think after that is a Star Wars one, but we'll have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.